Hopefully we're starting off easy for you. But we want to know, what was your favorite class at UVM? Uh, it had to be business marketing just because Ooh. of uh, Rocky DeWitt. She was a great okay. leader and teacher for me. Shout out, shout out, teach right there. Uh, stick is sticking there right now. Most underrated part of Patrick Jim? Uh, the bleachers. <laughs> yeah, it's another okay. yeah, those added factor to the rattle, the acoustics in there. <laughs> oh yeah, when everyone's stomping their feet on those things, yeah. you can feel it. You can feel it in your feel in your lower lumbar for sure. <laughs> uh, favorite food to eat when you are on the road. Uh, peanut butter and jelly. It's a great call. Great, great, great call. Can be made uh, what great coach great. do you – oh, yeah, absolutely, man. It's, that's like a handheld device. You can take yeah. that thing anywhere. <laughs> Which uh, coach do you credit the most for helping you along your way? Oh, that's a tough one. My AU – Cause he kind of opened my eyes to basketball and using it to get somewhere, you know? And I mean, Tim Cohn also taught me a lot in the Philippines when it came to, you know, growing up as a man and being able to take this job as a man, not a boy anymore. And you're not in college. So, yeah. Uh, plus, you know, just being able to win and having somebody that trusted in you like that. So. Yeah. Funniest teammate. That you have ever spent time with in the NBA, G League, college, funniest, uh, funniest teammate, Matt Glass. Oh, yeah, Matt I know Matt Glass. pretty well. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is a funny dude. Matt Glass, <laughs> funny guy. Energy and laughs. So yeah, love that. Uh, is there any any uh, player that when you were growing up or even through high school, college that you tried to model your game after? I was a huge Knicks fan, so I was a Patrick Ewing fan. And I think I was kind of more like a Draymond before his time because I was not yeah. tall enough to be Patrick Ewing. So I was kind of figuring out how to be like him without being seven foot. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, then like Spreewell and Houston and, and kind of looking at their games and stuff, just Charles Oakley. You know, somebody that just is always doing the dirty work and kind of just taking everybody's, like, best attribute, I guess, and knowing how important it is for winning, but just trying to add it to my game, you know? Ah, those are some great Knicks players that you just kind of rolled off there. Those are all <laughs> those are just some great Knicks teams back then. <laughs> Favorite uh, song or artist that you like to warm up with? Drake. But it's yeah. not any soft stuff. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> come with the heat, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, right, yeah. If you're gonna be warming up, you're not gonna be blasting some of his tunes in your head. Um, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say uh, Marvin's room is not gonna get me pumped for a game, but <laughs> yeah, it's a nice song. You know? uh, yeah. All right, here, Marcus. <laughs> if you could dunk on anybody currently in the NBA, who's getting the poster? Oh man! Anybody in the NBA? That's a great question. I'd probably say Draymond Green. Oh, okay. And just because I would want to see how he reacted after. <laughs> <laughs> probably some hand motions, a lot something. of yelling. You yeah. probably want to fight or something. I don't know. <laughs> yep. And you could be just hanging on that rim and saying, hey, I was you before you. And then right. you could just, <laughs> just give a little bit of that medicine. <laughs> that's great. Uh, well, that's it for the two minutes there. You did, you did great, Marcus. You're